In Lee County, Alabama, early sunlight filters between snap trees and crumbled structures. Here, James Baker feels the depression of Mother Nature's fierce grip. It got dark, right? And then I, I said, Joe, I said, you hear that? That sounds like a train. I said, you hear that, Joe? And by that time, right? Boom! Sunday's EF4 tornado, the deadliest to hit the United States in six years, blasted this rural community with winds up to 170 miles per hour, taking with it dozens of homes, countless irreplaceable belongings, and 23 lives. When your home is quite literally ripped off its foundation and everything you own scattered about like trash, where does one even begin to start over? I keep asking that question to the people here in Lee County, and almost everyone has the same answer, one piece at a time. We just try to put pieces back together and go on and just try and rebuild. A day later, Carol Dean was in the middle of what was left of the home she shared with her husband, David. Our son found him. He was done gone before we got to him. Soulmate is how she describes the man who's now a memory. <laughs> Oh. He was the reason I lived, the reason I got up. Sunday's tornado demolished this family's home. It swept A.J. Hernandez and his brother from their father's arms. A.J. was the youngest person killed. He, he brightened up a room. And, you know, those are the memories that I want to keep of him. Uh, because it makes me smile. You know, you asked me why I was crying, and I, and I think of that smile, and it makes me smile. When they see this, it's, it just shows really what happened. Miles away, 23 crosses honor the victims ages 6 to 89. Greg Zanis started building these memorials in the 1990s. His work has become a staple at tragedies across the country. It's just trying to show our country something that isn't even the cross. It's that red heart on there and it's oversized, you see that, it's prominent, but it's bringing in hope. Hope. I'm trying to start over. And faith. I'm blessed to be alive, it ain't no luck. Two things, the people of Lee County, Alabama, won't let this storm take away. Sarah Blake Morgan, The Associated Press.